Oh, I gotta fix my hair. Oh, what's wrong with you? We got a good thing. Don't know if I'ma see you again. Hi everybody, my name is Amber and I am the Black Directioner. I look like trash. I feel like trash. Therefore, I'm trash. Hello, my name is Trash. Nice to meet you. Which honestly shouldn't be a surprise to me because I really don't look like, you know, I don't look on fleek every single time I step in front of the camera because honestly, I really don't give a damn. You know how like some folks just be like, oh my gosh, I can't get on camera without my mascara, without my eyeliner, without my foundation. And I literally just throw my hair up and I just get in this bitch. I just got over a cold that I had for like, four days um still kind of don't feel good today uh but i was like okay i'm talking a little better so i'm gonna go ahead on and record this video clearly as the title says y'all already know what i'm gonna talk about so we're just gonna jump right into it so sit back and relax because it's story time it's the amber story corner for all your needs bitches the week of halloween you know that just from the beginning of the monday it was just awful it was just bad i was just hella stressed out um, I had so much work that was due the next day and that was due this day and I pretty sure I turned in the paper that I pretty much failed and you know I had tests and I had to study and I was just stressed. I was so stressed out. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days. When the mom would sing us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. I couldn't even find a way to calm down. Like, usually I find ways to, like, calm down and chill out or whatever, but I couldn't. That was also the same week that I had recorded that Halloween video or whatever with me with all the little wigs on and the blood and stuff. So that was even more stressful because I was up all night editing that video. You know, but I put that on myself because I should have did it earlier, but I didn't because I procrastinate and... I ain't got no shame in it, I do. You know, so we, you know, I just had all these struggles from class and everything like that and everything was getting on my nerves and everybody was getting on my nerves and I was rarely posting this, rarely posting that, you know. I have albums that were coming up that I was stressing about and, you know, money problems that I'm stressing about and had school and I was running out of gas and just, just everything was just climbing on me that week including the fact that my my grandfather passed away so i was just like okay thank you just another thing that's just going to be added on to my mental thanks thanks a lot so despite the fact that i had this really awful week um on friday i was going to go back to my university because for y'all who don't know um some of my videos was me in my dorm room from whenever i was a freshman i'm a sophomore um, I'm taking a ghost semester, therefore that means I'm at home taking classes, and I'm going to go back as soon as I can, so you you'll probably see me in a dorm room 2016-ish, I don't know. Anyway, so I was going back Friday to go party with my friends for Halloween because it was, you know, they were going to have Halloween parties, and uh, it was a bonfire, and it was homecoming week, you know, a lot of people were going to be there, you know, I still have friends down there, they was like, hey, come down, let's party, let's have a good time, let's do this. So I'm like, okay, let, let's, yeah, okay, I'm gonna come down, um, get my mind off of the horrible week that I had, and you know, I'm gonna have fun, you know, I'm gonna go party, I'm gonna go dance, I'm gonna have a few drinks, you know, I'm gonna be good. So I go down there, and I stay with one of my really, really, really good college friends, and I stayed with her in her dorm. So we go out Friday night, okay, so we go to this club that, you know, everybody's at, okay, so... Again, just like I said, it's um, homecoming, so that means that we have people from other schools who are here, and it was just packed. It was just a whole bunch of people in this club. Like, it was ridiculous of how many people were in here. You know, occasionally it was like an on-again, off-again type thing. Like, you know, we would kind of sort of have fun, kind of wouldn't, because there were people pushing you, and it was hella hot, and you were sweating from head to toe, and, you know, it, it was just madness. So, you know, I was like, I'm going to try and have as much fun as I can since I paid for this. You know, I'm going to try to get my money's worth, you know. Um, no matter how many people in here, no matter how hot it is, I'm still going to dance. And I'm still going to have fun. So, I had fun. I did. And um, me and my group kind of separated whenever we walked in, which never happens. So, that was kind of, it was kind of weird because we never separate from each other. So, whenever we did separate... That honestly should have been a red flag that, hey, something's not right. And then before me and my other friend walked in, me and her had this really, really weird feeling. We was like, I'm not really getting a good vibe tonight. But we just ignored it and we just continued to go in. The girl that I'm staying with, her name is Danielle. 
So she was she was with me the whole time, and she was like, okay, let's go. So we're leaving or whatever. We're walking. We're talking. You know, it's late at night. Uh, you know, you see cars everywhere and everything like that. We walk up to um, – I wasn't driving. My other friend was driving. So we walk up, and we see them just crying and freaking out. And we're like, what's wrong? What's going on? So they were like, somebody broke into her car and stole all of our purses. Time out. Time out. Time the fuck out. Fuck you mean somebody stole all of our purses. So my ass ran to the other side and saw that th that's what happened. They broke her window and they stole all of our purses. And I literally lost my mind. You see, I've never had anything stolen from me before. I've never been robbed before. Nothing like that. So it was my first experience. It was an awful experience, which, you know, I'm pretty sure it's awful with everybody who gets robbed. But, you know, it was just like, damn, like what? This can't really be happening. So, and, and we and we go to this club all the time. Like, it's not like it's our first time at this club. We went to this club all the time and we just so happened to have gotten robbed if you've seen my what's in my purse video that was the purse that was stolen um if you haven't i'm gonna link it down below so you can watch it but that was the purse that was stolen that was the purse that i got myself for christmas i i was i was pretty heartbroken i really love that purse it was only 15 dollars. it was from walmart but it was still my purse it was still mine you know and they took it from me what was in my purse that person stole, and it feels like they stole a piece of my heart when they stole my purse. Like, I feel like I was violated that they took my purse. I had my wallet in that purse and my cell phone. For those of y'all who don't know, I just got an iPhone 6 Plus Christmas 2014. I haven't even had the phone for a fucking year yet, and it, and it got stolen. It was in my purse. So, I'm crying. I'm freaking out. I'm like, I can't believe it. You know, I can't get home. I don't have any money to buy gas. I'm like, so, so what's, what is going on? So, you know, we're all crying. We're all freaking out. We're all calling our parents like, hey, can't believe this happened. We called the police. Um, I ended up grabbing the door and I cut the shit out of my hand and I was bleeding and I was crying and I was freaking out. It was, it was just crazy. It was, it, it was the worst experience ever. You know, and it's just something that you think will never happen. You know, it's something that you think will never happen to you. I've always thought I'm never going to get robbed, you know? Uh, pretty much what I'm trying to say in this story is that it was a lesson learned. Um, if you or anybody else is going to go party, make sure that you put your valuables and your purses in the trunk before you go to this club or party. Because what we're thinking is that somebody saw us hide our purses, that somebody was watching us and they saw us hide our purses and the moment that we left, they broke in and they took them. So, I'm just saying, if you're going somewhere, you have a purse that you, and you know you're not gonna take your purse with you, hide it really good. Um, if you know you're not gonna take your purse with you, honestly, don't take your purse. Take what you need and take it inside with you. My mistake, is that I did not take my phone with me. I never take my phone with me. Therefore, I was like, why do I need to take it? I never take my phone with me. I don't take it with me because I'd be worried it's gonna fall out. You know, sometimes whenever you go to clubs, you wear like shorts that have too small of pockets or you wear tights. I was wearing tights that night, I didn't have no pockets. I'm like, I'm just gonna leave it in the car. I always leave it in the car. And look what happened, they stole it. The only good side about it was that my phone had insurance, so I was able to get, I was able to get another one so this is my new phone and whenever I tell you that I'm never gonna just let it leave my sight <laughs> and you know it sucks and I know people were like well you can still find your phone and everything just use the find my iPhone app here's the problem I didn't set that up so if you have an iPhone please set it up please oh my goodness set it up it will save you and don't sit here and be like girl I'm not gonna set that bullshit up it's never gonna happen to me Wednesday, I left to party Friday. Wednesday, it popped up and it was like, would you like to install, um, find my iPhone? And I was like, no, nobody's ever going to steal my phone. Look what the fuck happened. And if I had my iPhone set up, the find my iPhone set up, I would have used one of my other friend's phones to find it and we would have found all of our stuff. But since it wasn't set up, all of our stuff is gone. So I'm just, I'm just saying, again, it was a lesson learned. Um, 
it sucks it really does and I really 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 watch my surroundings now not that I didn't before because I did I just wasn't focused on it that night and I should have been and I should have thought that there was probably somebody watching us and we should have took our stuff so I'm just saying hold on to your stuff honestly like not everybody is nice in this world not everybody is willing to go and work for their own shit and they'd rather steal it so just just letting everybody know i hope y'all got some good advice from me in this you know again never happened to me before but now i can't say that yeah i've been robbed before so uh, make sure that you take my stuff into consideration because i am being dead ass serious and i really don't want it to happen to anybody else and it would just be ideal to take everything that is valuable with you, with you, you know, keep it on your person. You know, it had all of my lipsticks, you know, my lipsticks that I got for my birthday. It had all that in there. It had some nail polishes in there. It had my candy. My candy was in there, goddamn. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I will definitely see y'all in my next video. And hopefully I can fully get off of this cold because I really don't feel good i don't <laughs> okay i'll see you guys in my next video remember there were five days but jimmy only protested for one and jimmy said watch your shit <laughs> bye guys those motherfuckers stole my entire existence i can't even i'm going on a hunt i'm about to go kill some folks